All right, hopefully you can hear me okay on this. Um, here's our Nexus 7, all ready for parting out. Just showing that it uh, does indeed work, of course. Uh, everything's been fully tested. Power button, volume buttons, USB, battery, LCD cable, digitizer, uh, operating system, Wi-Fi, GPS, video, audio, speakers, microphone, and camera as well as 3D gaming has been pushed on this thing for about 20 minutes to make sure that it uh, holds up okay and doesn't overheat or anything like that. So, uh, perfect condition, passed all my tests perfectly, and uh, we're ready to part it out here in just a second. Um, we can go ahead and turn it off. The OS has been reset to factory. Everything's been wiped except for Android, of course. So we're just going to turn everything off. Should take a second. This is a 16 gigabyte board. If you don't have one of these, anti static, uh, or uh, make sure that uh, you touch a, something heavy and metal before you start working. Make sure you don't have any static or anything. One little static zap can uh, fry these boards easily. Now we got the protective wrist strap on just in case. Um, got a couple screwdrivers. Got a real, real tiny one here. This one's for a couple of the screws on the uh, USB jack. Uh, it's pretty important. They're very, very tiny screws. And then, uh, of course, my favorite screwdriver. This is also a micro screwdriver. Um, you can pick these up for pretty cheap at your local uh, hardware store if you don't already have them. And, of course, my Minda. Absolutely love these things. This is just a plastic pry tool. Um, I run about five bucks on eBay, and uh, they're real nice. I've actually been thinking about selling them because they're real handy. All right, verify Nexus is powered down. Looks like we're good. Make sure this uh, battery is charged real quick before I pull it out. That's, yep, fully charged. All right, we're good. Didn't use a whole lot of power. So that's out of the way. So it's charged, it's off. Um, I usually start at the top of these. I haven't already gotten your cover off. If you've pulled it off a couple times, uh, they usually come off way easier. But I still like to use the Menda tool. Now what I'm doing is I'm just... Uh, popping it. Real carefully, I'm making sure I don't bend that screen bezel. And I'm not sticking it in too deep either, just real lightly running it across and it'll pop up each one of these little tabs. Um, I usually try to start at the top and the power button side and then work to the other sides and the bottom and the bottom usually just pops right off. Go ahead and lay that aside for now. And of course the uh, first thing I always want to do is remove that battery. Um, now with this one I've already removed the battery once to test it um, but your battery may or may not be stuck on there. If it's factory, it'll be stuck on there for you. Uh, it may not be if you've already pulled the battery off. So, all I like to do is use the Minda, get it underneath uh, those cables there, and uh, press real t as tight as you can with a finger and pull that uh, battery cable right out, and it should pull right off. And you can use this to put it back on there too to reinstall it. And as you can see, I'm, I'm holding on to the the frame of everything here so it doesn't slip or slide or anything like that while I pull it off or install it in there. It's installed. I always pull straight out. If you pull up, like up this way on it at all, you can break this connector real easy. I haven't broken one yet, but uh, I can see it happening real easy. Um, for the batteries removal, start at the end, at the very bottom here by the speakers and uh, lightly pry it up until that tape releases. 
then you can slide it in. Keep it real close because if you uh, press this any any further towards the middle here, you'll actually you'll break the LCD, and you do not want to break your LCD. Uh, about 150 bucks to replace one of those. So, and then uh, if yours is stuck on, this part will come off first, and then usually this this last part's a bit harder to pull off because all the circuitry for the battery is going to be right here on this end. You got to be real careful not to not to bend this or anything like that. Um, this battery's good. Uh, it's got an A rating. Held up a great charge uh, through all my testing and everything. So. We're going to go ahead and uh, put that away for now. Hang on to it. Now I believe uh, there's 19 screws we want to remove. Um, you're not going to remove, do not remove any of the screws on the motherboard. Uh, you can really only see one or two on this board. You might be able to see three, but don't touch any of those three. We're just going to do the, uh, the outer screws on the frame for easy removal. But, before we start pulling all these wonderful screws off and everything, um, we want to pay close attention, and this is the whole reason I made this video, is because uh, they've got this wonderful thin black electrical tape on everything as factory. And uh, if you don't pull it off real carefully, you know, uh, you could easily damage a component here. Uh, right here is the digitizer ribbon up here on the top. If you're looking at the front, it's on the left hand side. If you're looking at the back with the, the top of the unit, it's on the right hand side here. So, and it's stuck. It's stuck on that digitizer, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is, is uh, go ahead and pick this tape up. And I don't need to pull this, this one over here off completely. So I'm just going to leave it. And then uh, right here is the worst part. I know this camera sucks, and I'm sorry, but you gotta be really, really careful right here when you're pulling this plastic off, because that is the digitizer ribbon. And it's very fragile. Get that off. Well, luckily I've got some uh, double-sided, double-sided uh, there. Tape is preserved for you. Pull that up. I've got to be real careful too. There's these uh, wonderful little metal Wi-Fi connectors all over the board. Try not to catch them on anything. If you bend them. Um, uh, I've had a couple break off on other boards. Um, they're real fun to solder back on, so be careful not to hit any of those with your pry tool or even with your your finger or anything. Uh, first thing I like to do is use the pry tool on the uh, LCD cable right here. That's this little one. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to try to zoom a little bit. That's this guy right here, and then our digi. Go ahead and uh, just get it underneath the, the, there's a little lip on it, and it should pop right up. And then on here, on our digi, there's two. Make sure both of those pop up. Be real delicate with these. They're probably some of the smallest ones I've worked with. And then I just use my finger right here. Once you've got both of these up, Pull straight back, and uh, your digi should release just fine. You got that up, great. Go ahead and remove these 19 screws. Um, before we do the screws, though, there's one more thing I like to do. Over here on the corner here, just lift up the uh, heat sink a little bit until you can uh, until you can see the the uh, speaker connection. Speaker connection is uh, held by one little cord there, and if you can get a hold of it, you'll want to pull it away from the board, just straight, same as you, same as we did the battery. And it should just pop right out of there. And there it is, right there. 
quick speaker replacement, I usually leave that up. And then I start with the uh, the speaker screws. First, there should be two black ones and a silver one. The black ones, pay attention to where they go. There's one right here by the power jack and one here on the edge. These are both the black screws. They're a little bit uh, a little bit lighter than the other screws. Put those in, discard them. And then the silver screws. I think there's 19 of these silver screws all around the entire thing here. So there's our speaker assembly. Um, keep that, put it to the side, uh, keep it away from any magnets, otherwise it'll confront it. And then uh, go ahead and pull your uh, power jack. Over here on the uh, bottom power jack, there's a little piece of tape. We'll go ahead and peel that up so that you can get to the, the screws. And then go ahead and pull every screw. Three of them over here on the end. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this bottom frame screw too. We don't really need it now. So five screws total. And then there's these real, real tiny little screws right here by the uh, the power jack. Go ahead and pop the jack. Plastic tool here. And then I got the micro screwdriver. These two screws are really, really tiny. I suggest uh, putting them on a piece of tape or putting them somewhere where you won't lose them. See, I almost lost it. Piece of tape, or if you have a magnetic. Uh, Screw catcher, those work real well too. There we go. There's the second one. Okay. All right, so we got our little screws and keeper there. Now this uh, jack should come right off. Very careful with it. These are forty bucks a piece. Right, that should just come out right there. And, you know, don't worry about it. Just uh, set it aside as well. Keep that with the uh, speaker. And go ahead and remove the uh, last screws on the edge here. Now we got all the bottom screws done. Or side screws from your view. One. Two. All, all these screws are on the frame, so they're easy to get to. Pull out pretty easy. Yeah, get it. If you lose one of these screws, not a big deal. Um, you'll have a couple extras from your uh, from your old board. They're the same screw. If you need them, or if you lose one. All right. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 screws total, um, possibly a couple more if I counted wrong, but just make sure every screw around the edge is 100%. Like I say, don't worry about that screw. There's one screw on the board here, don't worry, leave that. And there's a screw down here by the speaker, leave that one. Uh, they don't go all the way through, so you'll be fine. And now the trick is, uh, most of the time with these units, uh, your heat sink right here is going to be stuck to the LCD backing. 
and if uh, you're real careful you can get it off of there but we're gonna go ahead and turn this towards turn it towards you I'm turning it towards me because I'm on the side here and just uh, go ahead and start pulling that up and uh, it'll probably be stuck right here in the middle go ahead and grab onto this metal piece right here that way you're not grabbing onto the board and just uh, pull it up and it'll probably peel it it'll peel itself off of the uh, the back of the LCD and your LCD will be fine just take your time with it go slow um, go ahead and move that there we've disconnected everything so the uh, the board assembly comes right off and that, that's literally how easy it is to, to uh, pull this off we get the other one and uh, we'll just say this is the replacement this is the one I'll send to you and if you buy a board off me let's see here there we go alright so installation is the opposite of removal what I do is I go ahead and uh, plug everything in and uh, let me show you this real quick I doubt you can see on this camera but uh, I use two fingers to pop these in on your digitizer and you gotta line them up and once you, once you get them both lined up they'll slide right in exactly and you want to push them all the way in until you can just barely see a white line between the connector cable and the digitizer cable right there once they're connected in you can uh, close down the, the connectors and then if you want you can go ahead and uh, peel your tape put that back on and then of course you'll want to uh, reinstall your audio jack board and then you'll put those screws you'll put those screws back in and make sure that make sure that uh, that's down so you can charge everything and then uh, you'll put your screws in back in on your jack here and then after that you'll just want to put in the two little screws and then uh, and then you can put the speaker right on top of that the speakers kind of a pain to get in. I use the Menda tool here. And uh, get under there. It only goes in one way, so. I think the speaker is probably the hardest thing on here to put on. I can't really see it. And if you get frustrated with anything, take a break. Walk away from it for a few minutes. Come back to it. That's what I have to do often with uh, components. There we go. Got one side in. So I'm just going to carefully use the uh, plastic tool here to pop it into place. It's popped into place. Go ahead and push down your uh, heat sink back down. Reinstall your screws. Once you've got all your uh, screws reinstalled, uh, you're almost ready for the cover. We want to put the battery back in. Pop back your battery in. that in. And I just I use my finger to pop that sucker in. And in case I'll just start here the bottom. And I'm pressing in on uh, both sides. Or one side at a time is fine too. And I'll pop it back in and everything. And power on make sure she still works. Hey there we go. Booting her back up. 
wait till she boots up and then I'll power it back on down and uh, get packaged up for the next person. Thanks for watching.